Secondly, I congratulate the 12 teachers who excelled and got prizes. In our Uganda language, we say, Adinga Nama Wolu, Agajamomukto. That if you keep eating, eating cold food, you will be satisfied eventually. <laughs> Therefore, I will use this occasion to repeat the message of the NRM on the issue of education. I always try to tell you that whatever one plans, you must plan it for the context in which it is. You are the Ugandans, the Banyankore say, which means that the hair, the hair style depends on the toy. The hair style depends on the shape of the head. If you have got a big head, the hairstyle will also be similarly affected. <laughs> Therefore, our plans depend on the history and the capacity of Uganda. I have told you a number of times that by independence, there was a a small island of a modern economy surrounded by a sea of underdevelopment. That small island by 1962 was being described as the island of the three seas and the three T's. You are teachers, you should know all this. The three C's were cotton, coffee, and copper, and the three T's were tobacco, tourism, and tea. By 1962, recently they gave me figures, only 9% of the homesteads were in the money economy which means that 91% were outside the money economy. Now, in 1970, 71, Idi Amin came in and destroyed the small island of the money economy. Out of the three seas, only coffee kept limping on. The others collapsed, copper and cotton. Then, by, then out of the three teas, only tobacco survived. The other two collapsed, tourism and tea. So therefore, by 1986, when the NRM came into power, the small modern economy had collapsed. And we have now to deal with the challenges that presented. And we have handled it in phases. Phase one was what we called minimum economic recovery, which meant bring back the small island 
of the money economy and, and deal with the problems of shortages of uh, what they were calling essential commodities of sugar, of tea, of soap, and so on. And Magendo, and what they were calling Echibanda, but Magendo was smuggle, smuggling. Echibanda was foreign currency black market. And Oksamra, Oksamra was specu speculation. That one was achieved. Phase one bring back the small island of the money economy. Second is expand it. And you have been here seeing what was, has been happening. If you take coffee, we, we moved from two million bags, we are now at million, nine million bags of coffee being exported. and the other production lines. Number three, diversify the money economy. Don't only depend on the three C's and the three T's, add other products. That's how products like, 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 like beef, like milk, like cocoa, like maize, like cassava, all those products, which were not known to be cash products, are now cash products. Div diversification. Now, phase four, add value. Because the, the, the other problem, the other time was also whatever was being produced, was mainly being exported as raw material. And that one has the problem of making us get less money and exporting jobs. The shirt, the shirt I'm, putting, I'm putting on is 100% made in Uganda. And if you analyze this shot here, you will see six levels of jobs. People are always talking about jobs, jobs, but they never bother to find out where the jobs come from. Level one of this shot is to grow the cotton. When you grow the cotton, you, you, you create jobs for some people and you earn money. Level two, is to gene the cotton. There are a number of genealogies where you remove the seeds from the cotton. Level three is to make yarn, to make thread out of the, of the pamba. That means if you export cotton, one kilo, after you have removed the seeds, you may get one dollar per kilo. But if you make yarn, the value goes up. And you also create jobs for the people who work in the spinning factory to make the yarn. Level four, weave the cotton. You weave it into a cloth, into a jora, into a fabric. That means you add more value, but you also create more jobs. Level four, print colors into the, into the fabric. More value, more jobs. Finally, level six, tailor the fabric into a garment. Okshona. By this time, the kilo from which we got one dollar is able now to bring you fourteen dollars or fifteen dollars. So this is another battle we have been engaged in. 
adding value, adding value to our 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 raw materials. And that is phase four. Phase five is to introduce a new economy, economy based on knowledge. You have seen your people making vehicles, making automobiles, vaccines, assembling and trying to make computers, going into the pharmaceutical industry. That's now a new level of industrialization. Now, when we are doing all this, we need the money for supporting the economy, for building infrastructure, and also for supporting social services, which include health, education, and so on. And this is where we get now another point which I would like you to appreciate. When the other small economy of the colonial times, even before it collapsed, the education we went through was elite education, education for a few, very few people. You can go and check how many children were in the primary schools by 1962. Very few. You can, you can check how many children were in the primary schools. How many pupils were in the secondary schools. Very few. So the education at that time was for a small number of people, for a few people. But when we came in, we could not accept the idea of elite education. We had to insist on the mass education. That's what uh, the previous speakers were, were talking about, what Mama was talking about, and what Honorable Kaduchi was talking about. So you have got multiple tasks. First of all, you are trying to make the economy recover from collapse. Secondly, you are trying to make the, the economy, exp the other phases I've told you about, to expand and so on. At the same time, you have got this big task of not just dealing with a small number of learners, but dealing with the, the large number of learners. If we are dealing with a small group of, of learners, we would have few, few, few teachers to teach them and they could be paid very well, the few teachers, to teach a few. But what would be the impact on the country? You have heard what Honorable Kaduchi told you, that because of the mass education, in spite of all the, the problems we have, the literacy rate has gone from 43% to 76% now. Uh -huh. So now, our Muganda Wagambe and Abarba Seka, you remember the little girl? Abarba Seka by Jeva and David, those who are laughing at our strategy. Now you see, the literacy has gone up. So now, when we, you have this problem of dealing with the recovery of the economy, at the same time dealing with the bigger 
mass education, mass vaccina vaccination, because for everything we do is mass, mass. We try to cover everybody. Mass vaccination, mass education, security for all, to bring peace in the whole country. All this needs money. So what do we do? This is where now bad planners bring the idea of Banyankore call it Okumemerera. I think Baganda call it Okumamira. My people told me that in law it is called poor poor raw, poor raw. Sprinkling small, 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 small. That, that strategy we don't accept. When we were in the bush fighting, we had a lot of problems, including hunger. We didn't have enough food. If you don't have enough food, what do you do? If you democratically starve everybody, what will happen when the enemy comes to attack you? That's why I would say, uh-uh, the little food which is there, give more to the people who are on duty today, the ones who are guarding the camp, so that for them, they stay awake, because when you are hungry, you doze, you doze, you doze. <laughs> so even w w when we are, are sleeping because of hunger, at least somebody is awake. But some people are saying, no. Feneka tuweba ke, obatu fwa tufe. That one I cannot accept. This is really... Excuse. This is suicidal. This fellow who is, who is guarding the camp now, he is not the most important necessary. He may be a small person, but he's the one guarding the camp. Let him stay awake. When you are hungry, you are dozing most of the time. Let's sleep, but when the enemy comes, this one with a lot will wake us up and we shall, we shall survive. And then, that's where the other problem comes in. Kamu kamu gwechi? Kamu kamu gwechi? Kamu kamu gwechi? Akwa tempora kora ichi? Bugu bugu sichi? Ah, biyona muvize mu. So therefore, I would really encourage, because if you see the economy is growing, like for instance, when we put more money, in 2006, we put more money on the roads and put more money on, on electricity. Now we have got surplus electricity with the Karuma, with the Simba. Now we have got surplus electricity. It came because we put more money from 2006. You remember 2005, those who are old enough, remember we had a problem of Lord Shady. When, when some parts of the, of the country would be off, off without electricity, then you wait for hours. Now, there is surplus electricity in the whole country. Because we said, yes, yes, we have got many, many needs, but in order for the economy to grow, we need electricity and some communication. There are other important, like water, if you see, the budget of water 
in 2006 and, so, and after. It was quite small compared to what we put in electricity and put, it, uh, put in on the roads. Not because we didn't know that water is important, but if you can't do all, what do you do? Why not start with something that will help you to get to a higher level? Because electricity will mean more factories, more, more businesses, and that means more, more taxes and so on. This is the, the context. I want you to understand. The, of course, Mama told you other aspects. Like, for instance, the teachers in the private schools are getting less money, but they work more. That, that one is a challenge. So, so therefore, our intention is very clear. The economy is growing. You can see the economy is growing quite fast. You have seen inflation is, is low. Our target is to pay all the public is pay all the public servants well, but also increase the numbers of the public servants. When when we close the schools, the number of the children who who, who were sent home were 15 million children. Now, if you take the teacher-pupil teacher ratio of, of 50 per teacher, that means we need 300,000 teachers for 15 million children. In our time, it was one teacher to 40 pupils. So you can see we need more teachers. But now we are not able to hire them. But where we are going as the economy is growing, and if we, if we all act together instead of uh, empaka, instead of arguments and then uh, struggles, because when, we, when, when, when I, I stood, put my foot down and I said, we should start with the scientists. I am a, I'm a person of social science. I'm a, I'm a literature man. I can quote for you Shakespeare here. <laughs> if, you, if you want. But we had a, a problem in Soroti. Soroti, we have got a very good f flying school there. Soroti f flying school. Now, some of the, our people are trying to, to bring this democratic, democratic suffering that, that we should all democratically suffer. <laughs> but in Soroti, you, you had the administrators, the human resource, the personnel, the secretaries, the what? But in Solot, what we needed were pilots. Yes, we needed some administrators. But without pilots, there is no, no meaning to an, 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 a, a flying academy. We needed pilots and aircraft engineers. Now, in the private sector, a pilot on a jet engine is earning 25 million shillings. So, if you don't pay them that, they will not come to Soroti. And the academy will close. So, when we told the, the, the you know, but when we checked, the general manager, who, who is a man, a man of, of, of Greek or Latin, who studied uh, literature like me, 
He wants to get more money than the pilots, and you don't have the money. So we told, we told the Solot people, please, here we need pilots. They may be smaller people in terms of rank, but they are the ones we need. So we started paying the pilots what they should be getting in the private sector, in the, in the aircraft company, in the airlines. And the academy now is a big, big business. Attra attracting uh, <laughs> attracting uh, students from many parts of Africa. So this is what we are talking about. What do you do? What we need now in the case of Soroti, what we cannot do without the human rights, the human resource person can resign and go <laughs> the, and we get another one. <laughs> the personnel person can resign but the pilot, pilot instructor, if he's not there, there's no academy. So what do we do now? So really, my young comrades, this is the issue. We don't have to waste time on this. It is clear we have, uh, some of us have been involved in all this for a very long time. When we were fighting, that's what we did. We had many needs. You need clothes. You need uh, medicine. You need shelter. But when we were fighting, what we needed most was a rifle and the bullets. <laughs> How about clothes? Don't worry. If you get them, put them on. If you don't, you, you, even a naked person can shoot you. <laughs> So, this is the, 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 the strategy of Oksoso Waza. Oksoso Waza. To prioritize in, order, in, in the context of scarcity. So, I thank you, uh, the teachers. We shall examine the issue of the holiday for the teachers' day. Although we already have many holidays, because, because in Uganda, Saturday is the holiday, <laughs> Sunday is the holiday, the Muslims are saying that Friday should also be a holiday. <laughs> so we shall end up, end up being on holiday the whole week. <laughs> now, if you add all the other holidays, Ha. You go on and total up the holidays in a year. <laughs> Next time we meet, we meet at Teacher's Day, I will bring you the figures. How many, out of the 365 days, how many holidays are, are, are there? And how many days of working? This one study, I will, I will report back when we, to, to your people. I want to thank Ireland, the country of Ireland. They are very good friends. They always help sincerely. I thank them so much. And as Mamo was saying, the Irish teachers are always doing a great job. Sister Kefas. Is the one who educated our, our girls at Namagunga. Then you have got uh, Dr. Dr. Dagan. Dr. Dagan was very active in Zambia. We really appreciate the convey our thanks to the Irish people. They are good friends, and the ambassadors are also very active and friendly people. With these few words, I congratulate you again, and I wish you good luck. Tomorrow, I will to get to Mpora 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 Mpora